Damn, well, I got this really nice burn. Hey, I actually feel my sinuses starting to loosen. So, uh, that may be an issue in a couple of minutes, but also the sign of a good hot sauce. So, anyway, um, yeah, I had the opportunity, actually, to talk to a few people. And, uh, we talked about the, the Christian life, in other words. So, uh, these people were Christians at one time, and, uh, they, they seem to have lost their faith. So, uh, now there's a, quite a few people over a little period of time here, but I get to talking about this quite often. So, some of the excuses that, that I've heard uh, that just pop into my mind right now. Uh, Alright, one person, they lost their faith because God would not give them a girlfriend. Okay. Uh, another, uh, a Sunday school teacher actually uh, lost her faith because her husband cheated on her, and she caught him in the act of that. All right, now while I, being human, like everybody, can sympathize with emotional pains, okay, because every life is hard, everybody goes through, and, uh, and if you haven't gone through too many at this point, some will come. That is a guarantee in this world, all right? So anyway, uh, during these conversations, I also had the opportunity to read a book called Tortured for Christ. Now, I'm not here to put in any plugs, but this is a pretty interesting book in contrast to these stories I'm hearing. All right, in Tortured for Christ, a true story uh, about the Christian persecution during post-World War II communist bloc under the Stalin regime, okay, where people, well, the Christians were rounded up and imprisoned and tortured and in many times killed for their Christian faith. Okay, so talk about a story of endurance. Uh, so, in the course of this book, it makes many allusions to the struggle of the apostles and the similarities between what the Christians were going through in communist Russia and the whole communist bloc, uh, as well as uh, comparing that to uh, to uh, the apostles' tribulations, okay? So, apostles faced many of the same ordeals, uh, being beaten, and tortured, and jailed, and uh, ultimately to martyrdom, as many of these, uh, these prisoners in Russia met with the same faith, for faith in Jesus. Okay, so, basically, the Bible calls us to endure, Okay? There's going to be sufferings in this life. And we are going to all be looking at suffering and death. None of us are immune. We are all humans. Paul, I'm sure that he did not want to be beaten or thrown in prison or ultimately beheaded. Or I'm sure any of the disciples who met with similar faith, faith, uh, faith uh, were not anxious to go through that either. Even Jesus, the human side of him in the garden, we see him suffering, not wanting to go to death, even though he knew and would ultimately choose to do that for the sake of us. So anyway, uh, the Bible says, when you start the race, finish it, okay? Finish the race, okay? So, because the small sufferings that we endure for this short period while we are here is nothing compared to eternity with God. So keep your faith, and uh, uh, the better days are coming as God has promised. All right, so hey, we're going to wrap it with that, and we're going to be back at 8 to 10 with South Devon Chili Farms Hot Habanero Sauce. So stay tuned. All right, welcome back to Taste Panel for Chili Nerds. We're here again with the South Devon Chili Farms Hot Habanero Sauce. All right. All right, guys, during the break, my sinuses were going off. This stuff has some really good heat. Um, still kind of have a warming glow on my mouth. Never lost track of those really good fruity hop flavors. Uh, yeah, really, really good sauce. You know I like sauces when it's all about the peppers. I do enjoy a good spicy sauce here and there. But this one here really, really, really hits home. 
with those habanero peppers at 60% in there. So, hey, 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 my spoon's rattling. Let me set that aside. And, uh, yeah, so, hey, my recommendations are go check out the South Devon Chili Farm and see what they have to offer. Because if this is any example, uh, I'm definitely going to want to be getting more of their products and hopefully you will as well so all right hey we're gonna wrap it with this guy today and uh... yeah look forward to doing some new shows uh... we may have juicy j on again next show uh... again i really don't want to make any promises because we know before uh... what i say sometimes doesn't always happen but uh... or when at least when i want it to happen so hey we'll have to see on that if not we'll kick into another hot sauce. So hey, until then, read your Bible, say your prayers, and I will catch you then.